Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the year 2022. Mm-hmm. But it's your first time here in 2022. But you can still be welcomed back. I am Melissa. <laughs> Kevin Allen. Angel. Marcus Ooh, Anthony. <laughs> what am I doing? I this like is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find the feed. Where are we at? Everybody said hi. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Welcome back to The Bald and the Beautiful. We are back. And we are reviewing the show Married at First Sight Season 14. And they are back in Boston. 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 I hope that you guys had. They don't all talk like that, though. They don't. That's just. No, well, I do sound like he's from New York. But what happened to the R's? No, the, they threw R's out of the alphabet. The pastor who married them, oh, he was like, man. you're going to be in love with Mark. Mark. Yeah, he was. Mark. Mark. He had vows. His was Mark. so yeah. thick. I told he you, said, you it was a dude. Ahead, there was a dude at the gym, I told you. Was, he was like, uh, we was sitting there working out. This is years ago. He's like, what's your name? I was like, Marcus. Micus? I said, no. Micus? Marcus. 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 Yeah, that's what I said, Micus. <laughs> that's Big Irish J, who's really from Portland. <laughs> <laughs> Black folks, when I did my show in Boston, they were like, we don't talk like that. Yeah. That's Tom Brady and Mark Wahlberg. That's a lie. Mike oldest sister sound like it. Really? Yeah. Sound like yeah. It? She sound like it. Like she it. In the town, they sound like that. In, it, it, in Goodwill the Hunting. Town. <laughs> they don't sound like They going straight to the movies. All Mark Wahlberg's <laughs> movies. <laughs> but in the world, <laughs> the I was like, what's up, Kev? I was like, Pop come, how about y'all? <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> we regular black over here. We got to go to work. Anybody got time to talk like Mark Y. Boy? Um, so, yeah, we're back. We're reviewing the show, Married at First Sight. We're on season 14, episode one. And we're going to attempt to do this expeditiously. Chowda. Um, so, before we get into the couples, there were just a few like overarching things that I noticed right away. Number one, the experts are present and accounted for. Listen. They clocked in to work on season 14. They was like, put us up yeah. in the episode. We're going to add 22 minutes extra. Correct. Yeah, this episode was a full two hours. Yeah, y'all going to hey. y'all gonna, y'all gonna hear all this expertise. I'm married from this to expert. y'all now. This amount of time we don't spend together. <laughs> I know y'all better than y'all know each other. Um,. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I, I'll yeah, wait to see. Up. I'll wait to see. They weren't really there for me just yet. But they, were, they, they was in the episode more than so, they was ever in the yeah, episode. Yeah, I was going to say more than before, like I noticed, like they did a lot of talking. Yeah, they did. Because last season, they us. pretty much just went on vacation. You don't, yeah, you see them in the matchmaking, and then you see them again mid-season when they, when the world is falling apart. Yeah. Once you start falling apart, be like, we yeah, met Yeah, then Dr. Pepper, Cat. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pepper come in and is like, hey. Yeah, get it together. <laughs> that is her. You're, you're I also think that their presence was more for us, though, like the audience. Yes. Yeah, they we were, were just like, what y'all doing? Exactly. We I think the last lot, few the last seasons few season. we've been questioning them, and so they were like, "We think that their moral values and the fact that they really both want children makes them the perfect match." Mm-hmm. Yeah. That energy was like, "This is the reason why we're the experts." Please, what was the reason? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if they don't work, at least you can see like, "Oh, this is what they were going for." But yeah. He's a pretty black, and she's a pretty black. <laughs> We Let them be pretty them together. together. Yes, <laughs> for those reasons. Yes. Um, the other thing is the experts got new backgrounds. They that did. was I was so happy when I saw it. I said, "Are they in a club?" Yeah, what no more this? CGI. Velvet uh, blue <laughs> seats behind them. It was very nice. I loved it. Very nice. <laughs> because Pastor Cal, when the pandemic hit, they had him in his office. He was um, his mic was a old can of green beans. Man, that he was, that's <laughs> tied to a said. string, tied yes. to the camera. I said, oh, this sound is horrible. And Pepper Shorts, God bless her heart, she looked as old as she is. It, every time it looked like she was like this. She wasn't you getting planning FaceTime on your doing mom. it. Getting forehead and eyebrows. They're That's like, all Dr. you see. Pepper, we need you. to. She was like, okay. So, um... <laughs> We, uh, when it comes to marriage, what? <laughs> what was say? Yeah, she looked. I was like, she got dressed up for this. She did. <laughs> she and her hair was straight. I said, okay, she got a blow dry this season. I'm here for Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She got it all the way together. She's like, this is the accommodations I need every time. Yes, I thought it was great. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go straight into the couples. The very first couple that we saw was Lindsay and Mark. The shark. Mark the shark. Mark the shark. Let me, let me just say something real quick. Mark, 
we, we is too old to be like you, you got to keep the shark on it because that my friend they got they say that you, Mark, yeah. Mark, you forty you you thirty six yeah if you talking about pension cut it out. <laughs> Pension. Yeah. Who's that? That's his age. That's the age he's at. He's talking a about pension. pension. Oh, like a, a 401k. Pension. Yeah. I thought you were saying pension. Yeah. Like pinch somebody. <laughs> he was like, you got to keep Thank the you, Liz. <laughs> keep the shock in. I'm sorry. I didn't know what he was talking about. Yes, Kev. Hey, I mock, agree. He's too the old. Mock the, mock the shock. Mock the shock. <laughs> they said that in college. Hey, man, that's that 22 years ago. Yeah. It's been a good <laughs> 22 Yeah, your years. kid's in college. Minute. Cut that out. <laughs> he's like, nah, this is my whole thing. Because I'm a shark. And mock the shock. Mock the shock. The shark at the altar. Got mock. three cats. He Listen. does. I was like, is that another one? These are not just neighborhood cats that have wandered in. These are cats you take care of. Well, these two I had. One, got, one I had a co worker. He said one was a co worker like co-worker that lived with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how you end up with a cat? <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to move out. Take a cat. Yeah. Nah. I don't, want that. I don't want that no more. <laughs> Oh my I just God. leave the cat with you. I like it. That's so funny that he like lost relationships because people were allergic. Like, hey, this is going well. You have any cats? Mm-hmm. I one I could do <laughs> three. <laughs> I know two's a lot. And he's like relationship three. or cats. He's like cats. 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 Them cats is in everything. <laughs> they were. Mm. They like meaning. They in a Broadway show. It it's in every cats. poor. It's in every pore of that house. Like I'm talking about, it's in the vents, it's in the dishes, it's in the clothing, it's in the sheets. They everywhere. So if anybody's allergic, they gonna die. Hundred um, percent. I also really quickly just want to say that I think <coughs> I am Mark. I identify with him on like a cellular level. When he was like, "For my family, I just want to like wear matching pajamas and drink hot chocolate and <laughs> be by the fire and watch Christmas movies," and I was like, "I too." would like to do that <laughs> i mean that this sounds is my fun. romanticized I mean, idealized view of what a family is that sounds nothing fun. wrong with that i don't know about the match pajamas i wear whatever's available uh, matching pajamas did we not wear sitting them sitting around did we not wear them on christmas eve we wore them I for a it. photo we did you not wear your matching pajamas with us on christmas eve because i had to because you'd be like yeah, oh exactly. the rest of the family got them on you look at mr on, grinch you over there living up to his name as long as you is that what they call you in the house mr grinch he can be Grinch. are you ball humbug nah no he loves christmas i identify with the grinch but though. he doesn't want to give in to <laughs> completely that yes i'm all about I'm like come on let's shut up all this singing yes. i identify with the grinch yeah though. all this singing and st- <laughs> cut it out shut up Yes, we watched Everybody Christmas know the song. movies. Now we I get into some Christmas movies and The Grinch. Did y'all watch Jingle Jangle? We didn't watch it this year. Did, no, I think I had the kids watch it once. We Not watched, this year? No, I, I'm almost certain I did. You didn't? Yes, you were out shopping with your mama. I heard oh, that she had a good time too. Mama. Oh, she did have a great time. Yeah, she did. I didn't get to visit with mama. My, my, I, I'm saying, but they talked about uh, Tierra Mills thing, and she, they said she had a riot. Oh yeah, um, she was laughing <laughs> but she, it, I mean, he is everything. I, I have a family full of. Well, you do too, but child, they listen to you. The men in my family don't listen to me, child. So every year I just be sad because they wearing, don't. I wore the Christmas stuff because they don't want to wear the Christmas pajamas with me. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Joe, Joshua. You talking about the Incredibles or the Christmas Christmas, Christmas stuff? Christmas. The Christmas Christmas, the ones we took, and I just like forget it. Just everybody should. That was up. Joe. If I could, I'd be adopt hot. a new family for Christmas. I would. And you Monty can take will, my pictures with my boys. Don't, I, do, don't I, do Amar. He's not going to do right. But I would gladly, the other gladly. Three. But yes. I'm all for the hot chocolate in the uh, the movies. I love me some Christmas movies. Going, I love the word Yuletide. <laughs> Yuletide is a serious Christmas word. Y'all got them Yuletide greetings, huh? What does Yuletide mean? Yuletide. It's the origin. Yuletide. <laughs> Yuletide. Um, Mark's uh, bless his heart. Mac. He ain't, Mac, he ain't got no family. Mm-mm. Oh, poor thing. Everybody was dead. And, but dead not his mama. His mama in a place. She yeah, said that she had to make her. great she, decisions. So yeah, she, she got to be in a place. Yeah, she, he called her. She was like, So you getting married? All right. <laughs> Hopefully she don't leave you. I, Bye. Yeah, 
I'm beside he said, myself. He said, oh, no, no, no love. Okay. She said, Bye. why couldn't you do this the right way? He said, I, <laughs> he said, I tried. It never worked out. I love the, the honesty and just straightforward. They don't be caring at all. <laughs> when at they all. don't care, they don't care. Yeah. Why could so you do this the right way? He's so. such a, like, sweetheart. He's yeah. like, I want my mom to be the first person. I'm so excited. He's all teary-eyed. You doing what? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do it that way? But he called her hours before. <laughs> he <laughs> he was did. Like, and she hey. Why would nope. you do it that way? I don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, uh, let me call you back. Price is right is on. <laughs> Price is right. Yeah. He's gonna do pachinko. I love yeah. pachinko. He was like, because she'll be in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. She might fall. She might be embarrassed. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, he cares about his mama. He was sweet. Yeah, their marriage is gonna work for him. He gonna he gonna make it. Work. <coughs> he too happy. He was like, I was on here last time and y'all didn't y'all didn't pick me. I'm, I'm, uh, Angel's dying. dying. Angel, you dying real quick? <laughs> yeah. We gotta do this ad, so I need you to live. I know. He get, oh just, man, I saw that happen, Marcus. What is he doing? Get dying. One, before you die, get this one more ad so we can help cover the cost of the burial. He's still really not here. You okay, babe? He's got a concussion, Angel. I saw they all saw it on camera. You okay? I hear you what groaning, happened? groaning. Did you make yourself bleed? That what did you do? Oh, you, you hit your head. Let me see. Go on. You banged yeah. it on your head? Oh, my God. I almost I died, too. You almost drowned on spit. Uh, <coughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Mm. I wasn't even able to talk. <laughs> Drink, that oh. drink, drink some drink. Tankley's uh, over here dying I on wasn't camera. I not able to talk. And if I can't talk, <laughs> I can't use talk. Babbel. Hey, Babbel, language for life, you guys. It's the leading foreign language learning app. Do you understand? Because they are not using AI. No, they're not. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. They created their lesson plans or their lessons from over 100 language experts. It's 15-minute lessons making it a perfect way to learn on the go. All right, we all got goals this year. You know what we do. Kevin already losing weight. Look at him slim in the face. That's a new man. (laughs) No, it's not, thank God. Look at the color. You need a whole Babel lesson to get through (laughs) Kev's new man. But Babel don't have that. What color is that in Spanish? But they do have French. Aranja. Mm-hmm. Come on, what the orange? Hey, uh, you, so Spanish is over there. There's Italian. There's German. Spanish is over there. <laughs> you can learn all of that. And their teaching method has been we was scientifically using it when we was in proved Egypt. to be effective. You were in Germany. You were using uh, it in Germany? Yeah, I was using Babel. Like, hey, you speak German? I was like, Kaiser Slotten. The Babel didn't teach him that because he would be better if they did. <laughs> what does that mean? That's a city Melissa used to be over by. <laughs> Ramstein. Ramstein. Um, plus, Vinter Babel Schnitzel. speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are many ways to learn with Babel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, video stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babel. Um, this is what we want you to do. What they need to do, Adrian. I want you to go right now and save. 65% off your Babbel subscription when you go to babbel.com slash TBTB. TBTB. That's babbel.com slash TBTB. TBTB. For up to 65% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Language for life. Language. Uh, yeah. Now she. Lindsay with Lindsay. an E. She shows up to her parent, her her dad and brother playing basketball with bubbles, and I was like, "What, what is, is going on?" I was like, "Okay, so somebody here is special mm-hmm. because we're all they're all adults, and she brought bubbles, so I thought maybe the brother might be mm. special." And then when she was like, "I uh, was thinking now that I matched, I'll have <laughs> bubbles at my wedding," I was like, "What?" <laughs> So this is not like some uh, textural or like, you know, sometimes you give people an experience to have them give sensory. I was like, that's not, this is not a sensory experiment. You just wanted to tell them you were getting married. Correct. I said, oh, she crazy. <laughs> she, she definitely the, what is her um, bottom third? Wild, wild one? card. Wild card. Mm-mm. She's definitely a wild card. She's giving uh reckless 
Her voice is, her laugh is deep. Yeah. <laughs> her voice gives, I don't know if I can say that and be politically correct. Yeah. She, um, she has, well, it definitely came out at the wedding. The, the fact that she had, I don't know, she was throwing all kinds of liquor back. She or, had two I, bottles of champagne before she back. got there. I don't know if what kind it was, but yeah. <laughs> Usually pregame a wedding. Some, Some people, people do the calming nerves. People in the wedding, though? Yeah, people calm really? their nerves. Oh, my groomsmen was all back there taking shots and twists. We were, really? we were, we were still hung over from yesterday. And I told them not yesterday. to drink. But Maybe like, we're still to, saved then. No, no, no. They had energy drinks. They um, they needed energy drinks. But that's not from what from the you night do. before. No, I wanted a shot. I did a bachelor party. <laughs> yeah, I had two. I had a bachelor party at Hooters. <laughs> oh, look at you getting risky. Dead serious. Where'd Hooters. You go? Hooters. And I looked across, and there was a family. They had an eight year old. And I was like, <laughs> If you got had a If you tell party, me you went bowling, I'm going to be mad. I worse. I don't think I had one at all. I think I had a. At, what's your name, Sal? I you? think I had like a the bridal shower. Oh, so the 20th. Me, Danny, and That's Melissa. That's your. F- add that to your list. To uh, to have a, list. Have a. A uh, actual oh, it's gonna bachelor part uh, bachelorette party like on the movies. Yeah, we're with Chippendales one. where the meets the guys. I have the uh, uh, <laughs> like a hangover weekend in Vegas, and it has like three or four things. Yeah, okay, you so need to be no, no. Vegas is the old bachelorette party. Nashville is the new king. Oh, the whites. I don't Nashville. like that. white folks go to Nashville. And bash when we was yeah, there for as the, a uh, black, nobody want to be white, white wasted wind though, up man. As a hashtag, yeah, That's we're true. doing. You don't want to go on I don't in know Nashville. What he's about with that. Ask the people in the Patreon. <laughs> white folks in OG. Nashville be bachelor. Y'all need to in Nashville. You can get on that thing where they do the bike thing at the bottom. I'm, I'm, you be at three in the morning. And you be. Like, <laughs> oh. We're going That's to go to scary. <laughs> we're gonna go to Olympic yeah. Gardens. We're gonna have a great time. What is that? I don't None know. Of your Something business. in Kentucky. Don't go to no, Lexington. It's in Vegas. We're gonna go down to Applebee's. Get two for twenty yeah, ribbons. Horses like she did. No, us. it's in Vegas. Yeah, they're horses. See, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was that man penis? <laughs> <laughs> Olympic Gardens is like a time in for late as hell. <laughs> is it the time for garden? I mean. Yeah, get, Let's maybe go. Let a man, let a sweaty muscle. Are we I done with Lindsay feel, and Mark? I want you to know what it feels like to have a man with muscles pick you up. Because I could pick you up, but it'd be soft. <laughs> <laughs> I could easily pick you up, but it'd be, we'd be both half breasts. So stupid. <laughs> The men's gonna be like, mm, mm. they're gonna have the V list. You never seen what that's like? Yeah, so she's wild. <laughs> Why are you pushing uh, that toward you know, this? Fun. Uh, I, one of the things the expert said, they're both yearning for a family, family dynamics, family connection. That's what I was gonna say this season. We got on the experts the last two seasons for being like, she likes math. He likes science. We're hoping together they could meet at chemistry. <laughs> yes. This time they were like, you was born in May. He was born in May. Y'all go over there and be the same sign and fall in love. Yeah. You like peanut butter and jelly? You like peanut yeah. butter and jelly? Grape yes. or strawberry? Uh-huh. Grape, grape, strawberry, you're out. Who like grape? You, grape, grape. You're in. We, we're sick of people Red saying, shirt. Got you matched up with the red shirt over here in the back. You be shopping at Target, Goodfellow, Morona. Y'all go and get married yeah. and sit down and shut up and go to Costco after that. Yeah. We're not going to be go out and have a good time. The last two season we try to pull pull and yes. people went the other direction yeah. you got hands and feet she got hands and feet <laughs> hand and feet together lock them up go over Perfect. and sit down they didn't have nobody who do, no, no you don't like kids no opposite how many kids you want and when by next week all right when you want them friday does friday work friday work it no better. thursday who want kids by next thursday get in here and marry them and love them and get and our y'all gonna break up off of shared likes this time <laughs> ain't no differences y'all gonna break up off of this. apple dale pc Mac? No. No, no, we ain't talking about the fruit. Talk about the computers. Yeah. <laughs> Macintosh. Uh, no, that's the truth. But old girl, um, Alexa, not Alexa, what's her name? The one Lindsay. we're talking about right now. Lindsay, Lindsay. she said she don't care about nothing. She, she don't care about good. race, height, <laughs> she size. Said size. Said she said, I don't know what I'm about she to walk them teeth. out to. She said teeth is the only thing she I said. Teeth. Yeah. They have good teeth. They could have gave her Johnny. Okay, I like oh, to say you, man. Okay, I'll you. She walked down the way. It'd be DC Young Fly sitting there just waiting for her. She'd have been all about it. She'd be like, yeah. <laughs> not, not a race. Specifically, yeah, no, DC, him. DC Young Fly. <laughs> this is Mary Lindsay. Yeah, he'd be like, ugly oh, girl, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> 
Oh, she's just here for a good time. Ooh. Yeah, clearly. They got free champagne at this wedding. I gotta uh, be married for. She, she could have been married to a black dude though. <laughs> she could. I thought they were oh, gonna no. match her with the black dude. She had a black friend. Have in they the ever wedding. done that on this show? Yes, when the girl who was basically like, uh, you I know, want a black dude. They were on the show. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, and they duh. divorced. Yes, Ryan and uh, Clara. Clara. She was like, you know, I like guys <laughs> yeah. that are. Hey, uh, you know, kind of like my coffee. <laughs> Maybe a By little. By the way, cream. Ryan is strong. What did, what made you like? like I follow him on Instagram. Oh, he be doing pull ups. I can't do pull ups. He also just came back. back. No, I can't. I just you can do one. <laughs> I, when I tried at the gym and I couldn't go up, so They're I got out playing basketball. Like hey, nah, I want you and Angel to see who can do a get a pull up first, I like work toward it. it. Oh, I, I feel like I just dumped because I, I try to put myself up. I was like, ah. Melissa probably do one hand pull ups. This how we can do it. <laughs> Melissa was doing good at V sit and reach. Remember that was a thing for us huh? when we used to have to do the things in uh, middle school. You had to do V sit and reach and. And the jump. Nah, man, shut up. Melissa could do it. I don't know what that, is. Don't know what that is. But wait, everybody, Miss Angel said that man is compact. <laughs> He's compact. When you compact like that, you can do all now the things. Now you see them, the little uh, do petite all the dudes. extra things when they're doing I used to, not, I don't know how his size, but I used to see the petite dudes at the gym, and they would be doing pull-ups, and then they would hold in the pull-up position and start kicking in all different oh, directions man, and stuff. how they do that But then there? they jump down, and he's like this tall. Oh, I'm like, man. come on, So it's man. because I'm tall. Partially, I yeah. I did have, I did have the pull up uh, record at my middle bottomed. school. I told you, I don't know what no V sit reach. V sit is when you sit. sit and, yes. You would sit and you, you would sit strap. in a V. Oh no, you talking about a leg outs? Oh oh, I don't know what that's, that's a pull up record. I had the pull up record for I can girls. Believe, look at these shoulders. Mm. I know my mom Melissa has really broad shoulders. Is so that strong. She has broad very shoulders. Broad. They shoulders. are toned, and you haven't done a pull up. I have. Okay, we're gonna get you I, went, I went to my first dance class yesterday. I have a recital. It's on my list. Come on. <laughs> what type of dance? <laughs> you know I love taking dance class, and you went. I didn't me. know. No, like I absolutely. She's a dancer. Love oh, it. but I'm not. I have two left feet, but I had a Don't, great time. I look terrible now. Listen, 41. let me tell you what Melissa was preparing for this dance Trying class. To be sexy. Mm -hmm. Our whole trip in Egypt in Germany, Melissa's like, I can catch this beat. Song, come on. She's like, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Yeah, if I got I it. Did, can, can, can. I'm talking about a full on Egyptian. No, it's, I got a question. It's on Corbin. It's in North Ridge. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Melissa Fredericks. <laughs> She just yelled your name. I love a dance class. You know she don't want to be your friend. She done said it multiple times. <laughs> How many Marcus times she got to tell you? Marcus is hell. You know she don't want to be your friend like that. Like that. I still got my jazz shoes. Tap they shoes. Do, they do have a tap thing, too. She used to tap. I love dance class. <laughs> I didn't. I really didn't know that. They're going to do dancing, and I'm going to get you doing pull-ups. You're going to be shredded in the back. <laughs> he's, oh, he's not That's why your one. shoulder be coming out. You got to strengthen that up. I've been working on, I've been doing. I got you, man. There's a girl at the gym. She way stronger than me. I be trying to, I be like, don't come at this time. Why? <laughs> Go she got somewhere. off the bench. I was like, dang. <laughs> how you did all that? By your, you didn't have no spotter? <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, you know the, the, are these the red bottoms? bottoms? Huh, yes, ma'am. We are. In, we are all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I thought five minutes ago I was like I was like oh no when she brought up this I said oh we done left the show <laughs> you know I like a good dance them girls are strong I understand you know what I was about to bring up when y'all start talking about listening to music y'all ever hear a beat and you can't catch the rhythm of it or is that just me this is my life that's not this me. is why I'm teaching myself I mean, we'll hear something I'm like I'm I, I don't I can't I, catch the beat it's I, off right now I have okay. to close okay. my eyes and say, one, two, uh, three. <laughs> no, sometimes if I don't hear it right, I'm like, I don't know what's playing right. It sounds like they're saying random words yes. to a random beat that ain't on rhythm. All right, I thought it was I just me. I thought I had a condition. Drummer boy. That don't mean I can catch it. I was off beat out of the drum. That's why they made me get off. <laughs> my, I'm serious. My other girl was a choir uh, director. Hello. Like, what is this? Uh, what, what do we... <laughs> <laughs> I used to play the drums before the real drummer got there. Oh, <laughs> my uncle used to be like, "I got to check these like, comments." <laughs> this is gonna be called "Married at First Sight." 
Season 14, episode one, review, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> review, kind of. All right, we got you other people that have this, too. You other review places who do it. For yeah. Y'all yeah. know what we do over you here. You know over there when they be dead serious about it. We over here talking yeah. about it. Oh, you know we these channels be giving the tea. tea. They, be, they be having PIs on this because Man. they know all the What's details. PI? Oh, private investment. Uh -huh. I, we haven't seen each other in a month. Yeah. Melissa became Misty Copeland. That's how long <laughs> it's been. So we've got to take our time, guys. <laughs> Listen. We really ain't seen each other since December 18th. Yeah, right? it's almost been a month. It's almost yeah. been a ain't month. Two months, Joshua. They had to be February now. <laughs> Josh is like, it's been Why'd you just serve 86, though? <laughs> you went over there to Disneyland. <laughs> knew Listen. I was out of town. Oh, did you have fun? Have been yeah, they was drinking. They was spinning that whole time. I hope you had a good time. <laughs> she looked cute. Her hair looked cute. Sorry. Yeah, Look tell me all face. about it. Who, ja Jasmine? Who's Jackie? That's Jasmine. Jackie. <laughs> you know what? Here on the Ball of the Beautiful, we take mental health very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> we do. This podcast is sponsored I don't know by anybody's Better watching Help. This. If you are still watching this, I don't know. Therapy. Why. <laughs> hey, if you were, I love y'all for still be, be for still up. tuning in. This. We still got comments coming in. We love y'all. So we told y'all what it is. We're talking about it a little bit. <laughs> That's a little. It's the Shoot. backdrop, but it's not the main event. Uh, we talk about better health a lot on this show, and this month we're discussing some of the stigmas around mental health. Mm -hmm. Okay, like many people think therapy is for so-called crazy people, but therapy doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It means you recognize that all humans have emotions, and we need to learn to control them, not avoid them. Mm, that's what I said. And... We've been taught that mental health shouldn't be a part of normal life, but that is wrong too. We care for our bodies with the gym, the doctor, and nutrition. We should focus on our minds just as much, especially at the top of the year. This is where a lot of people get uh, have depression because you're thinking about all the things that you possibly didn't accomplish last year mm -hmm. or the big seeming like mountain um, goals that you don't know how you're going to reach this year. And a lot of times it's not enough just to try to, you know, do uh, daily affirmations. You need someone to actually help you work through these things. That is why we are advocates for having a professional licensed therapist and using BetterHelp. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It is much more affordable than in-person <clears throat> therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why t over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. <clears throat> this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and the bald and the beautiful listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash TBTB. TBTB. Again, that's BetterHelp.com slash TBTB. TBTB. While you're getting your minds right, you need to get your bellies right by getting HelloFresh, okay? Mm -hmm. Our family has been going strong with HelloFresh for the past few Hard months. Hard in the paint. Especially once we were, when we were on tour <clears throat> and Marcus was dealing with the kids by himself, and it was just like, we were tired of he was in having, elementary school. He was in, was in elementary school. school. And he was. we were tired of ordering out. We were spending so much money. So we signed up with HelloFresh, and the meals come together in about less than 30 minutes. They have um, over, I think, 17 menu items or even more to choose from weekly. And, oh, 50, excuse me, 50 menu and market items to choose from each week. And what I really love is that um, you get to choose based on your lifestyle. So there's veggie, calorie smart, family friendly, gourmet options. We are on the pescatarian because we don't eat uh, beef or pork. So all of our meals are either vegan or uh, seafood based. And they're all really good. Last night I made Marcus the black bean um, soup mm. with the, uh, with the, this creme. Crema. 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 And um, mm. shredded cheese with the blue um, tortilla chips. Scrumptious. Um, two days before that, I made this uh, uh, fish and chips Ooh, with uh, tilapia. I love the batter that they had made. Marcus was still eating on some of that. And then um, some homemade uh, fries. They have really, really good meals. My kids love all of them. And um, it allows you to spend more time with your family, spend less time in the grocery store, and it's cheaper than going to buy all those grocery store ingredients. All right, uh, you guys, this is what we want you to do because I want you to try HelloFresh. It really is great. I'm, I'm not lying to you. 
Go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB16. TBTB16. Use code TBTB16. TBTB16. For up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Again, that's HelloFresh.com slash TBTB16. TBTB16. And use code TBTB16. TBTB16. For up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. So what that means we got 30, epi- 30 minutes to get through all the rest of these companies. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can do it. I no, got we got a- more time than that. My meeting's not until 1. Okay. I got a headache. I'm sorry. <laughs> you been drinking? No, nah, man. I, knock, I almost knocked myself oh, out of there. Right. I'm concussed. Don't go to so sleep. Sorry. Don't don't get concussed. But actually, that's a that's false. The doctor it's a said yeah, it's a myth. Sleep. Really? It's okay to, to go to sleep because your brain needs to rest. I can't let it go. Oh, man. Well, I used to let... I can't let that go. Because aside, we found that out yeah. in 2020. We should have known that that was going to be a that. terrible year. Cause at right 12. Oh, what? Oh, one. He fell. On, January 1st. On marble floor. Oh, my God. Hit his head Oof. so hard. Began to vomit. <gasps> yes. That is That's bad. how we brought the year in of 2020. So then I had to go to the emergency room. They always child. ask that if you had a, if you vomit after a head injury, it's really bad. Yes, and they were so funny. They were getting ready to call an ambulance. I was like, I don't want that man. <laughs> hey, I will drive listen. him. We can get him there a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> when JoJo was a baby, he he was like had an attitude one time. We was at a Chinese restaurant, and he bucked back, and it was it wasn't marble, but it was like one of these hard. It tables. was like mm-hmm. yeah, and he banged his head so hard. I want to cry. Melissa was. I mean, I her motherhood was broken. No. He had a cartoon. You remember? They're like, you. Yes. Mm-hmm. That knot was like he had a fitted cap on. <laughs> that is like Yamaka on the he back. Tried to, yeah, he tried to jump out of her arm. He really did. He like did. he did that. Did like that. And the I wall couldn't. saved him. Uh, it also broke his head. Now, nah, yeah, the doc, <laughs> no, doctor said. The doctor said, let him go to sleep and wake him up every few few hours. Wow. Oh wow! I did not know that. Mm-hmm. That was like you alive. All right. Good That's night. the thing I've been hearing forever. They lied to us. That's like sitting on concrete gives you hemorrhoids. <laughs> I ain't even heard that. Sitting on cold concrete, y'all ain't never heard that? Mm-hmm. I spent my whole child, my adulthood, oh, yeah, too. yeah, I heard that, too. You know what else I heard? What is hemorrhoids? Inside out butt? Yep. Mm-hmm. What part of the butt is out, though? A part of the inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> A part of the inside but of the booty hole. What is it, though? Your, it's your actual skin. booty hole. is like, man, what's out in the booty world? Booty hole skin. It's like. It's flipped out? Bloop. Yeah. So it's like. <laughs> uh, not with the tongue. Just do that. I don't want y'all to talk about this. That's my, what my, I feel like mine's finna come out. <laughs> what is the no? Because of gravity, it's just going. to Your booty hole like, y'all want to talk about it? I'll flip inside out right now if y'all keep on going. <laughs> I'm going to come out. I'll flip inside out right now. We... But what this reminds me of, though, for real, is how Lindsay's mama don't be talking to her. She be a booty hole. She do be a booty hole. That's, man, people's family don't, they don't always have good relationships. Ah. They said it like matter of fact. She, oh yeah, I don't hold on. And I don't. Talk. How long we've we been going for thirty minutes and we still on the? First? Yeah, I'm about to end them. <laughs> we on the first. We ain't talk about nobody. Else. Nobody. No, else. Else. They the only people that got married. This yeah, episode. the only people got married. So they get a little more, more time. She anyway. laid on the bench, drunk, talking about she wanted to be a cat in the afterlife in her wedding dress after she, she got married. I, I said, I hate when sure people label yes. like, oh, I'm too much. I'm too much. You know, I'm a lot. I'm a lot. I'm a lot. But she really is a lot. She is a lot. She's yeah, a, when he she's was a, there. She's a lot of personality yeah. she's a lot of presence yeah he, he was talking to her for what 15 minutes he was like that's that's a lot of energy he said yeah. i wish she didn't talk so much yeah <laughs> he, said she's a lot. He, was, he seemed like a not too much but he seemed like a lot of energy when but they, with her he he's the muted one when they were at the altar and she wouldn't shut up oh my god yeah she was making jokes i was like Why i mean he? he's doing his vow i wasn't there <laughs> i wasn't there <laughs> yeah. either <laughs> You need to go north. Yeah, baby. you should have. Yeah. You went to the wrong place. Oh, girl, <laughs> let him get out off. his vows. He dreamt like, of this day his whole life. I'm like, right. Dr. Pepper. Nope. Marry that first sight. He's, divorce that second. What is somebody at the altar like? Uh, let's go on and do this. Yeah, yeah, let's go on. And. She was like, they called me the shark. She said, I hate sharks. And girl, I hate them. I'm afraid of sharks. Sharks. I hate <laughs> you like you like cats. She was like, uh, please, please. No, I, but like, she hated I it. love cats. She was like, woo. She was like, are you kidding me? Are you guys? I was like, why? I didn't she know what crazy? was happening. I didn't know which direction she, she was going to go. Either. It she, was a lot. Yeah. She was like, I love them. I'll get rid of mine though. Man, how are you going to throw your cat out? Just <laughs> yeah, I love cats. Also, I hate that one. I don't. You, it's gone. 
yeah. because there's cats everywhere. You can get a cat when you don't want one. Yeah. There is, They'll almost you pay you what. to take cats. In Egypt, cats everywhere. They, ro- they used random to be royalty. Cats and Ooh. random dogs just laying Your on dogs. the ground. Everywhere. Cat. I mean, cats everywhere. Ooh, Stray shit. dog. People be taking care of them. Ladies' whole life is collecting money to feed the stray dogs of Egypt. They didn't look. She wasn't taking care of them. They should make a them. Pixar movie about the stray dogs of Egypt. Mm, I'd watch they it. Could. It sounds, it it sounds like a movie already. There is, a, there is a lot of stray dogs. Yeah. Okay, we're done with them. Yeah. Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan and Katina. Let tell you what. This, oh. Go, go, oh. go. Um, shouldn't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the third or fourth page. <laughs> This boy don't seem like he's ready to be married to nobody. He's done with that part of his life, Marcus. He, 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 he that's what he said. Isaiah I think, is gone. Is that his name? His yeah, nah, I think, yeah. the, Isaac, I think Isaac. wanting to be married is a phase that he's going through right boy, now. He wants another phase. Yeah. <laughs> I've done all this. My, all this. my issue is, even though I know he said it's been two years, and you know that is some time that has elapsed. No, my, but that's pandemic year, so you couldn't cheat when you were going hey, out. Hey. That's what? I haven't had sex with people randomly yeah. also because I of quarantine. I didn't think about that, but you that's because hoes been up. <laughs> They've been in the house. I ain't been able to find them. I tried it. to do Zoom sex, <laughs> but I couldn't find it. I was but like, what are you going to say? That uh, it is like me, I'm afraid of heights, and then I'm like, I'm no longer afraid of heights. Let's climb Mount mm. Everest. That type of swing always makes me nervous. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is BS. Yeah. yeah, so like, and going back a few seasons, nobody was more wrong about Woody than me. But this is even a stretch. Mm. Yeah. Because Woody wasn't this wild even in the episodes. The thing yeah. about it that's make it dangerous, there was a sense of like, Nostalgia with that part of his life. Oh yeah, he uh-huh. was like, oh man, I was out here. Oh, yeah, he oh. was having a good time. Oh, yeah. I was living my. It wasn't like Woody was kind of more like I kind of want to distance myself from that part of my life. I was like that, but his eyes twinkled. No, his was, was like, like hey. Woody always wanted to eventually get married. He knew I'm gonna do this while I'm single, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I want to be with someone. This guy was like, oh, I see other people married. That looks neat. I'm going to try that now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit of a different, like, motivation. Yeah, and even the, like, the introduction of him is like, all right, he's auditioning to see how many chicks he can pull off this introduction. I know, Mark is like, why does he have his shirt off? <laughs> like, I said, because he's trying to have people slide in his DMs. Why else? <laughs> he's trying to get hollered at right now. <laughs> like, you at the strip club, you shouldn't be stripping. Oh, right. my God. Yes. They're at work. He like, They're at work, work yeah. with y'all. I was like, why do you want her coochie on your bare skin? <laughs> you don't know her. You don't know well, her. Oh boy had, had old girl's skin? coochie on his face. Oh yeah. Oh, the other guy. They was all up name. about it. It was her coochie. Oh, uh, Mark. Now her coochie was on his, was on his Mark chin. Mark was like, in her, she had her vagina. He said he liked her cats. labia. Yes, he did. And Come she on, was labia. Rare. No, his, her <laughs> butthole was on his neck. Her uh, coochie was on yeah. his face. It was like no, a mask the worn on wrong. Top. Yes, she was upside she was, down. Yeah. Oh, so that's her right. Coochie was up here. Booty was right. Uh, Kev was like, "Nah, that ain't how anatomy yeah, works. It's butt here." <laughs> but if you flip, yeah, over, flip it yeah. over, yeah. But um, yeah, I was just like, <laughs> this is one of the ones where you said when when you start to feel your spotty <laughs> sense in the first episode, you be like, "Now, experts, how you missed this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you missed that this ain't somebody that needs to be given this because, opportunity because he show. has." Because a wife, a wife ain't somebody that can't. What do he say? He said a his wife, wife has to be cooking him cooking. meals. Man, he like, hey, that's, not wife, that's not a wife. Then that's not a wife. I was this, like, hey, <sighs> cut that. That right there is that's like 1940, if, man. If that's your definition. Is, yeah, your definition of this is what a wife is. Then you. You in the forties and fifties right man, now, homie. Yeah, you got to mature. That's a whole you different mature, era you got of time. To, yeah. They didn't have HelloFresh back then. Listen, that's exactly what I was thinking. And when he was hanging those pictures on pipes underneath his basement, uh, whose house does he live in? Was that his house? I don't know. He's doing a lot of paint chipping, though. I was like, "Uh uh-uh, sir. Hopefully it ain't got lead in it. I said, "Uh -uh, (laughs) uh-uh. Listen, listen, if you want that, I have friends who that is their gym jam. They are the homemaker. They are kept, and that's the way they Mm -hmm. like it. But they are put in very nice homes and they have very big budgets. 
I'm like, if you want that type of woman, you got to win all the bread. You do, and you. It, it's you not just it. muscles, because my friend's uh, uh, husband ain't got not nail muscles. There she is okay <laughs> with that. She's like, oh no. She was like, I'm trying to live my best life. Some Correct. people be like that. <laughs> yes. yes, we have some friends who are like, I I would love to just be here, bake cookies and muffins and, and be all. a stay at home mama. But that mm-hmm. the other part of it is, I, I ain't got have no worries though. Right, yeah, not I don't, I'm not doing that after I didn't come home from work. Absolutely right. not. Right. I remember the one, the time I shut up about them. I wasn't like Melissa got a cooker or no, or or she and a wife. But I remember one time I was like, man, I'm I'm hungry. I'm tired after work. She's like, and I'm tired too. And I was like, you you do work. Yeah. <laughs> you both you work. do also work. Yeah. We yeah. both do this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be quiet about. And it. she mess around, be making three times what he makes. She's like, so what you cooking tonight? Listen, right. Listen. <laughs> Now they, I think their their whole thing was, oh, both of them used to be partiers, and yep, they're trying their not thing. to be partiers. Hers that, was different. Hers felt different though. He was like, I was a cheater. I right. was a yes. da 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 right. da, and she was like, I keep getting cheated, cheated on. on. Right. Was, they were like the the experts were like, perfect. Yes, she knows both how to deal said, with being cheated on. Yeah. she can take the blow. She's taken it several she knows times. How to deal with that? <laughs> she is strong minded. Both party people like, no, I used to want to go to the club. Yeah, he was like, nah. I at the club when my girlfriend was at home. Yeah, I had a new girlfriend. Yeah, his concerns talking about yeah, just uh, you know, what if I've been with one of her homegirls? Like you will be. That was what they said. That was what I was preview. thinking. That's a wild thing to say. That is beginning. wild. I was like, oh no, that's your worry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the fact that he was like, he he realized he wanted to get married. He said I was driving home at three a.m. Sure for did. one of my. Late nights out. And, I'm like, uh, so the drive of shame, and you was like, you know what? Let me get married. Listen, this is no way to live a life. Then when he realizes his life ends at 10 p.m. in the house, he's gonna be like, ah, what is happening to me? No, him? he said, I want somebody down to earth, cool enough to go to the strip club with me. He did say, like that. that's that's the first thing that comes to mind when you think about a wife getting married. Mm-hmm. And then you wanted to cook too. Like I dare and you go over and smack her on the butt. That's what you want your wife to dare you to do. <laughs> That's also a very specific dream. Yeah, <laughs> I want my wife to do that, and, and we will go together. Right. I don't know <laughs> if she's this girl. girl. Angel Marcus, go over and smack a girl's butt. All right. Like what? <laughs> I dare you. Really. <laughs> He's got a very vivid dream. Yes, yeah. I don't know if that's uh, like I said. She didn't judge the book, Katina. but it ain't looking too good. Katina. Katina, I don't know if that's Katina. Yeah, I, she doesn't strike me as very traditional. She doesn't, stri- but I do believe she's gonna try hard. I, I don't buy. I don't think he's gonna. Uh, Actually, she might also pop off at the mouth though. I don't think he's gonna cheat. I, I buy. I give him. I give him credit. I don't think that will be the reason why they divorce. Mm. <laughs> that's what I will say. And I'm not even I trying to make him a yeah. bad person. I just think they're not going to make it though. Yeah. I just think no, 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 that no, no. his vision of what a marriage is, is not realistic enough for this process. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, they, next. Yeah, oh, they go gotta, ahead. It's a lot of growth that needs to happen. J- yeah. Judging from this first episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Noy and Steve. I like Steve. No, he was the girl who unemployed. This Asian couple? Yes. yes. Yeah. Unemployed in between jobs. So. <laughs> I'm in between hey. blessings. Um, <laughs> why are you getting married? I do not understand that, though. I do not understand the He's thought where he. But this is the thing. He, clearly employable. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You Probably don't get to go on makes, a road trip if nah. you don't have. Right. You get laid off and you're like, I'm going to just go. Be on by myself for four months. Yeah. You had money. That's yeah. what people. I'm just gonna travel next year. Ne- travel. Traveling is next more year. Than just being at home. <laughs> oh yes, it is. You gotta have a little bit yeah. of bread to do that. So he's yes. he doing something right. Yeah, I really, really do. I do like him. I do not understand the thought of like while I'm on this like adventure of finding myself and in between jobs, I want to get married as well. That doesn't really drive with me. Uh, but I do think Steve is a good catch yeah he he's, just needs to also find a job yeah but that's one of the people it's like it's not what does he do uh he was a he, he's a s- analyst he a but he's probably he's probably one of those people that could probably afford to go like four or five months without oh, absolutely. working absolutely and think be so. good but the thing is people not ain't nobody trying to hear that well you already got to explain to your family that you're marrying somebody at first sight mm-hmm. and then you're gonna be like also oh, he ain't got no job i can't give you two yeah but once you be like but i got like 5.6 in the bank 
Then he ain't got to have no job. <laughs> he already did it. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's like when you have that type of thing, you probably scared. Like when Angel, when she's acting, it's like, yeah, you probably go, you might go five, six months without working. But that two times you do work, it's like, yeah, oh, I'm good for the true. year. I, or like I, a realtor I, type thing. I don't, first of all, Boston's expensive to live in. So Very. for him to take four months off and live in Boston and keep that place, he got a little He went bit to of Florida. Rest. You know what I'm saying, but he kept the place in Boston. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, no, he got he's bred it up. He's I think so too. Yeah. His family is bred it up. He's good. He like gets contracts and stuff. He's good. <clears throat> he come. He gonna be. He gonna be solid. His family is all super supportive and stuff like that. His family is so super supportive. <laughs> Trash. Now, what I thought was hilarious <laughs> was that during the Bachelorette and Bachelor Party, they were talking about things exactly opposite. Mm-hmm. He was like, I want to yeah. take things slow, build a friendship, and then, you know, because I don't want, like, a one-night stand. And she was like, Bust oh. it open. She said, if I see, I'm going to be like, come, come on. on. This will be the most <laughs> epic one-night stand we ever have. She I was like, <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see how this interview Both of y'all talking together. about stands, be married. Yeah, basically. <laughs> there are opposite <laughs> sides of the spectrum of that. Y'all both said stands. Yeah. <laughs> stands. He's no matter what context you said it in. Yes, he is tall. He's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, yeah, he is. And she's like 5'4". She wore that wig. It, was, it made me laugh. Oh, when her she was dancing noisy. on the noisy. roof <laughs> Noisy. The wig that going. wig had a whole it had a whole little segment. Yes, she, <laughs> she did. Was, I'm here for her alter ego. They put her on a roof. And what did like, she name? She named noisy. Out, uh, noisy. No, is that what it was? Oh, yeah, listen. that's her alter ego. Who wear wigs? She was like, "This is my alter ego. She wear wigs." <laughs> 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 that was the only personality trait of her. Alter. She, she like, wear wigs. She wear wigs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I like her. My head I like still her. hurts every time uh, I laugh. Okay, let's go to Jasmina <laughs> and Michael. Oh, they're so pretty. She's gorgeous. Michael is Beautiful. solemn thinker guy. Yes, Jesus. He's what? Solemn beer. Beer. Yeah, he has beer. the beard. Yeah. He is an overthinker. He was, he was. But you're talking. No, he, he was. <laughs> am, am I? <laughs> Michael's the guy with the beard? Yes. <laughs> I love the way his sisters responded Me when too. he said he was getting married. It touched my heart. They were so crunk. <laughs> it's so sad that he lost all of his like elders. Oh yeah, there was another family with the, with people yeah. having passed. Mama, the grandma, the daddy, but his sisters were holding that, him down. But also, I was like, well, she better act right because her sisters, his sisters, look like they will fight. Oh, they'll debo him for real. Oh, they will but fight her. Could have has there been that y'all remember? A family more excited? No, because they were like Pumped. they were hot. Yes, yeah. you're gonna drop out. They're this is an out. awesome opportunity. I yeah. was like, oh, they're completely here for it. They are sold it for this whole like they. I think they believe this will work out. Like Absolutely. this is going yeah. to work out for you. And in the past, when the family's not into it, it always makes it harder. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Always but, makes it harder. For well, for him <laughs> specifically, it was going to be hard because that that he got three mamas. And his older sister. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute, Marquita, who's watching this live, you are petty, but yes, that bald spot. Oh, that's what I was about to say. He got a strong hairline, but Mikey, you got go on. You got a nice shape head, man. Go on, let that hair go. Listen, yes. you, it takes a, a person that know and love you to tap you on the shoulder when you're not ready. Just be like, one of my friends was on ball. That bad boy was like oh, that. It, that thing is fading in the front. He has a no. Hair. That's what I said. This is strong. I, everything is strong. Here. That yeah, was like me. It. My hairline was like it had like off leg day every single week. <laughs> but everything else was pumped. Everything else was thick. That's how him. Everything else is thick, but that back, that back, back of the head was like, it's hey, it's like a little solar system back here. It's just a little, yeah, a little of hair solar panel. Gone. <laughs> my boy was trying to hang on to his hair, and his hairline was in the middle. Some we was all visiting him, and we were just like, hey. <laughs> He was like, it's time, homie. Like, yeah, yes. so. <laughs> it's gone, baby. Hey. The soft nah, tap. Man, I'm just hey. going, hey. That's when you know somebody. Hey, like, buddy. I was just thinking, no, no, no. Hey, <laughs> it's time. He's been bald ever since. It's sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes you got somebody who love you got to give you that tap on the shoulder and say, hey, ain't God, God done left you. How you feel about them two together? Um, I think that Michael is going to mess it up. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I think she's going to be a part of that mess up, though. Mm. They called her Miss No Nonsense. And anytime I hear that, I, it makes me think, oh, she doesn't bend. Mm. And yeah, We know that's the rule number one for this experiment. Yeah, you, you got to be, be flexible. A, yes. And um, 
and she's so gorgeous. Jesus. She's pretty. It, so for me, I'd be like, nah, I was doing all right single now. <laughs> Listen, I was doing all right. I ain't got to do all this bending for you if you ain't going to be what I actually want. And her family d- dynamic, too. I felt so much for her. Uh, she was the one that She's had the, the stepmama mama. Yeah. Yes. I'm like, what? what? I kind of loved it. Step-mama I mean, it's was serious, wasn't she? It is beautiful that what her stepmother did. Correct. No, no, That's yeah. The, that, I mean, to have someone raise you like their own when your own ain't doing right by you. Right. But it's a shame that both of her parents oh, ab- abandoned her. Yes. Yeah. I was like, oh, When she my said, God. yeah, because I was going with the story. It's like, oh, okay, the mother left, dad, okay. The dad left? To- what? <laughs> I know. And let, like, I don't know. How do you leave? I, like, I don't know the situation, but how do you leave yeah. your children with the new chick? Yes. Like, that is true. <laughs> Marcus said, I was going along with the story. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's sad. That's sad. Okay, the mom left. The dad left. Okay, wait, wait the dad left. Yeah. <laughs> it went to Jamaica. Or it was to crazy. Jamaica, yeah. yeah so, was, yeah, step- she ain't got well, you, people. Stepmama's a hero. Really? Stepmama's a superhero. She really Like, got is. all her kids and, and her, she took on his. Her connection to her like she's yeah. like she said that's my ride or die she right is. there yeah she was like, i want you getting hurt that's my daughter i don't know him i was like that's, that's what you oh, need that's, that's what i was about to say that's gonna be i feel like those type of relationships is harder to win them over because they're so protective yeah. from everything they've been through it's just like now we ain't gonna let no bs I up agree. in yeah. here and yeah. even when she was saying i don't want your heart broken it was because she's had heartbreak. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about your mama, talking about your dad. Right. Now you, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Right. She don't want you to go through that again on right. a romantic level because it already happened on a, you know, parental. I, I really do hope <clears throat> Good job, they work Karen. out, <laughs> but my hopes aren't high yet. Like, I'm not getting that like, oh, my God, this was like the perfect. I really honestly don't know why they were matched. Black, black. Yeah. <laughs> you got hair. He got hair. Get on over there. <laughs> and well, no, they have a troubled parent relationship. I don't you like trauma bonding though. Trauma bond. I'm, I'm just saying that you know, like we said, the experts are like trauma bond, trauma bond. TB, TB. You're so <laughs> stupid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would love for them to work out because they both actually seem like really great people, but. I'm not putting my hopes too high mm. on them. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to agree. Yeah. yeah, I don't know where to put them yet. Me neither. It's too early for me. Yeah. I was just glad they didn't put her with Elijah Wan. Oh, no, that was never going to work. I was like, oh, I was like, wait a minute, who are they putting with him? <laughs> that no, was never going to uh, work. I was like, okay, not to say that I'm trying to have anybody be cheated on, but oh, girl, she got tough skin. Girl, I said, no, Elijah Wan should have been with... Uh, What's the name from last season? They can just both be dating other people. <laughs> oh, yes. <sir>. <laughs> <laughs> so she got so scared. And she do. She said, uh, he was in a relationship for nine years. She said, do I have side chick written on my forehead? Oh, I felt so oh, bad. Oh, man. That was nine yeah. years? He yeah. probably, in year three, he was like, this is crazy. Right. I didn't expect to get away with this for this long. <laughs> Oh and he had six more That's years. a lot of stuff you got to ignore, though. Damn. You got to be ignoring a whole lot. Nine years of side chicken? No, side chicken. <laughs> At some point, you got to be like, so why ain't I met your family? <laughs> oh, man. That sucks. What also sucks is when you miss your period and you didn't mean to. <laughs> Luckily, that's not happening over here. <laughs> Because the cycle is regular, so I got my flex oh my regularly. God. If you don't know what flex is, you are missing out on life. Yes, you are. Flex is one of the most innovative period care products that are body safe, made for comfort, and made to keep you moving. Flex disc which is a one-time use menstrual disc, fits perfectly inside your body. It can be worn up to 12 hours, mm-hmm. and it holds as much flow as three super tampons. It's not the cup, and it's better than a tampon, and it's unlike any other period product you've tried before. This is why, let me tell you, because you can have sex with it. And they're so compact. Like, if it's something like, um, you, you know, with when you're carrying, like, pads and tampons in your purse, you can't put that in no clutch. And they get it, it gets all over the place. With these uh, discs, they're super small and compact. Um, they're individually wrapped. You can keep them in your purse just in case you know your cycle is coming and you 
you know, pop one in. And like they say, you can wear it for up to 12 hours and you can have sex without ruining your sheets. Okay. Also, uh, it creates 60% less waste compared to pads or tampons. And if you want to go zero waste and have the planet love you even more, there is the Flex Cup, a reusable menstrual cup that Cosmo rated number one. I actually really, I use the cup mostly. Um, It's a patented pull tab, makes Flex the only cup on the market that removes like a tampon. It's super easy. You already know how to use it. It's uh, disability friendly and made with beginners in mind. And it's velvety soft, completely body safe, lasts for years. You just, you're able to wash it. They actually have a a wash that if you want to have with it to be able to keep it clean and and, um, usable for you. Uh, I definitely... I prefer using it. I feel comfortable using it. I feel safe. Like I'm not about to have to worry about, oh, did I um, accidentally leak on myself or anything like that? It is a very well-designed product. Um, they also help helpful videos, in-depth diagrams, gifts, and flex spurts available to walk you through the flex entire flex process. Flex You'll never go back to products from the past once you try flex. So say goodbye to cramps, put sex back on the table, and lend Mother Nature a hand. Go to flexfits.com slash TBTB. TBTB. And use code TBTB TBTB. for 20% off flex disc starter kits or 10% off your first flex cup plus uh, free shipping U.S. That's code TBTB TBTB. at flex, F-L-E-X, fits. Dot com slash TBTV. TBTV. Um, we were gone so long on our, our trip that my period started and then started again. And um, I had the, the cup and it was just makes for that is a long time to be your, gone. Your, it just makes your life very, very easy. Period was like, you ain't back to America yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like I was on a, like a for real excursion. We was gone. Yeah, we were gone for It was gone. a lot. I've seen more of Egypt than I even knew existed. I'll never go back. <laughs> I've seen and done everything. <laughs> she said, I'll never go back. No. We was in Egypt for what, 10 days, 11 days? Yeah. For forever. I feel like y'all was gone for like six months. We didn't even <laughs> tell y'all, man. The president of Egypt stayed in our hotel sure and we was did. in the city one time. We came out to leave the ne- the, the, the the day we were Secret leaving. service equivalents. T- ten guards. Police. Uh, his personal security, Egyptian army, they was not letting us go to get Isaiah and Joe. Because it was our room, this massive suite that he was staying in, and then the boys' room. So we're trying to go. First of all, the first day, I'm like, why is there this suite here? Because the room was like 11 and 12, but it was like 11, suite 12. So you don't know that they're Mm. not next to each other. So I'm like, yeah, there's a dude out there. He was we need to go back out and like sus- make sure he's not doing nothing because the boys are down the way. Angel, uh, not knowing Marcus. that he's freaking security. Yes, he was looking super uh, suspicious. Militant, suspicious. Oh. He was like, like looking for crack. Now, in hindsight, you know why. But it looked like he was like scoping the place out. Mm-hmm. Liz was like, look, look, and I was through the people like, please be gone. Because <laughs> what if I open my eye and his eyes there? I'm like, ah, I thought it was room service. <laughs> But that next day, so we tried to go to the room. And they were like, no, downstairs. And we we're like, but our kids are that way. You can't go this way. And we were like, but our children. So then we went downstairs and we came back upstairs. And they were like, no, you can't go over there. We're like, we need to get our kids. We're leaving this place. So finally, they, a dude who spoke better English than the dude who was telling us no. He spoke English. He just was, his English was consistent of no, y'all can't do this. <laughs> and the dude who was more, uh, spoke more English was like, oh, yeah, let him go. And then they had dogs. They had AK forty sevens everywhere. German shepherds. Mm-hmm. Mal- uh, what's it called Belgian Malinois in yes. the hallways. AK forty seven on the third floor. And, at, and you see them. It was three forty in the morning, by the way. Oh when? Oh, when we left. We were leaving. You got an AK forty seven before coffee. So what you gonna do? Shoot me? Mm, I, I <laughs> yeah. You on breakfast there? Yeah. <laughs> Over there, it's just like, hey, listen, <laughs> you ain't gonna get AK-47 no, you ain't gonna get no hashtag everywhere. over here, homie. <laughs> I remember we were pulled up to the hotel and they have the thing to check underneath the car. This was like, what are they checking that for? They're like, it's okay, we just had a little uprising a couple of years ago. 
Like, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> <rising>. <laughs> yeah, it's like family of insurgents got taken down <laughs> while on the floor with the insurgents. president <laughs> of, of Egypt. That's what we told him. Liz was like, if you are the president, bu- book the whole floor out. I don't know yeah. why you wouldn't book the Or at least floor. the two rooms next to you. <laughs> I'd have to go get him. I got a question. <laughs> <laughs> why you didn't book the floor out? You ain't got it like right. that? Airbnbs was booked up. It's Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> Things, it's, it's a pandemic, we ate, uh, Josh. We ate at McDonald's in Egypt. They had a Mick Falafel. No lie. I didn't get it, though. I didn't, no, it. I, gotta, I didn't see it on the menu. The actually. fact that you was in Egypt and went to McDonald's. Listen, after like, <laughs> we had Josiah been eating Egyptian food, Joe was hungry. Like, what do you want? He was like, she want, she was like you want this Egyptian restaurant? He was like, do you y'all got McDonald's? <laughs> of course. McDonald's He's here? a child. They would not. The, the, we uh, eat McDonald's in Egypt, in France. In Japan, in London, in, London, in Baltimore, <laughs> <laughs> it tastes. Is different. it the same? I was going to say it's the same it's everywhere. No, they, it tastes way different in, in all the European places and Africa. I guess who does it better? Everybody else. Everybody else, really? Because mm. they don't what? allow all the. It they don't allow other places. I say they don't allow all the crap in their food. That the they the do burger allow tastes here. more fresh. Yeah. And the sodas don't have high fructose corn syrup. I don't like that. I was going to say, half the stuff we she eat are, is syrup. illegal in other countries. <laughs> so put that high fructose Give corn syrup. She said it's called up. luxury. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Where's the preservatives in, in the, the back? Can you? They had a pineapple ginger ale in Egypt that was the Ooh, best. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Was, you should have smoked a, a bunch of that back. That sounds Imagine like Imagine that with a Marcus Beatings. meal. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it would be so good, Marcus. <laughs> Get the connect. Yes. <laughs> I, if, I wish I would have been thinking about that. There's too much security in the Egyptian Air Force. You got to go through security three times mm. before you get to the ticketing agent, mm-hmm. after you get ticketing, yes, and then before you board your plane. There's another security setup at Jesus, your actual gate. We are like, like, where can we get an item? That's you can't even uh, take a drink you bought in the airport the, onto through the plane. The plane. Nope. That's, said, that's for all them uprisings. We only had one January 6th, but they got them like every other week. And also, let me tell you one thing Egypt does not do. Leave them planes on time. The, air, the oh. airline is owned by the state. So if there's not enough people on it, they'd be like, that flight's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, they do you like this. That, that, that one's not going. Oh, that's yeah. what happened to us. Yes. We had a flight and they were like, nigga, no. <laughs> like, y'all can't say that to us. What you finna do? But we did. It's, but, but we, we did, like, though. And, and did. You can't say that, but, but we did. <laughs> it's not going no more. And the flight be like 12 o'clock. Your flight is. They'd be like 1230. Like, all right, man, we might leave in a little bit. <laughs> and do. <laughs> and them places over there, thirty years old. They had a love seat as a as a seat. <laughs> Dead hey, when I was dating Angel, they had to say I, I got I on a Southwest plane chair. twice. They had the uh, they had the ones facing, and it was like one bitch going across. I was like, hey, I was, it was me and another lady in that row. We was both like, hey, we good. <laughs> oh, you talking about Southwest when yeah. they used to face? Yep. You didn't. You ain't. You didn't ride all oh, that show. He born ninety three. With them, when he was with them plush old. brown leather seats. Yeah. Do you ever remember having uh, cigarette uh, things yep. in the plane? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's wild that people also they smoke a lot in Egypt and Germany, but it's wild that people was on in plane Europe, smoking. Mm-hmm. That's a crazy. It is. Yeah, like ain't nothing wrong with this. <laughs> This is how I know we ain't I gonna figure out COVID smoke. no time soon. Oh, you see how long it took us to figure out cigarettes I'm weren't thoroughly good? convinced. We're, we're I hate cigarette smoke. It took I think us it should be illegal to, to smoke in public. In if, I'm in my, in if I'm in my, yes, it is in Burbank. When is I'm in it? my car, can't smoke in public. And somebody's smoking in front of me, I have to put my because you smell like that for the rest yes. of the Marcus, damn day. And Egypt, your hair. I hate it. In Egypt, on the public bus, the bus driver was smoking while driving the bus. It's my favorite. Thing. I said, how y'all did that? He As I do hate smoke, smoke, cigarette smoke, but I enjoy the the very relaxed nature of the work environment in other countries that the U.S. doesn't have. Like, we're so rigid. Uh, it's so stressful. Yeah. You have a review. You're trying to, they be out here like, oh, we're going to get. <laughs> like, they don't <laughs> care. They're smoking. They take their uh, prayer break. They took a prayer break. The security guard, you know, the Muslims pray five times a day. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So when we were coming, it was one of them five prayers. So the security guard at the airport was praying, and there just was no security. 
Wow. We was just like, we can go. He was just like, I'm praying, bro. I, don't nobody hey, really don't let else come before time this. We let me go f- to Camel Stage Studios. People gonna be in there smoking. <laughs> yeah, no. Praying. Listen, <laughs> like, I love this. Everybody, gonna have, yeah. everybody gonna have thick, thick accents. <laughs> She's gonna, be like, gonna love the vibe. Then, Liz. <laughs> no, I love it for them. And she's like, but at my business, I don't my company. Here. I do love it. For you know you who I wonder if smoke if they smoke? Alyssa and Chris. I wonder if Let's they go smoke. to it. <laughs> Alyssa and Chris. I don't remember these people. Because he was the one that didn't want no none. part of the strip club. He didn't need to do that. He was like, I want, I want my, my wife, wife to do to that. Do that. Oh. And then she was the one that didn't say nothing. Yeah, she didn't <laughs> speak that much. I don't no, remember. When uh she's laid back. She's just like Lindsay hey, said. Oh, I think Katina is fun. Noi, Jasmina, she's beautiful. There's another girl, right? Isn't there, <laughs> isn't there, isn't there a fifth girl? Isn't there What's a fifth girl? What is it? It's Noisy. That's it's the alter ego of Noise. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember Alyssa. She didn't talk much. She was uh she's not great for camera, but maybe no. she'll be a great wife. She reminds me, who did I say she reminds me of from the previous season? Was it uh, um, the dude who had Kat's girlfriend? Or no, what? Okay, he was our favorite sarcastic oh, mean Henry. guy. Henry. Okay, what was his girl? Oh, yeah, I can see they kind of oh. look the same. Yes. Tall girl, dark hair. Yes. Flight yeah. attendant, homeless. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Fly to the Yes, Christina. It was Christina. And their attitudes are very similar. Like they give me they give me similar vibes. That girl looks like She did a little bit. She gave me a little bit of that. I do get what you look at that face. I'm about to. Yeah. I don't think she look alike. No, they're No, I don't think they look alike. I think they sisters. Nah. That's what they said. They sisters. Oh my gosh. She does look like she could be related to that girl. Pull up. Let me see. Look at look. That's the girl from this season, and that's her. No, it ain't. Flight attendant oh, homeless. <laughs> Flight attendant homeless was the best. Flight attendant homeless. That's what it is. Look. Well, let me see. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna show you. They didn't even put a picture of them because they were look. Marcus, I, you definitely can't tell. Hey, just because she uh, dark hair and Marcus, white they don't do mean they look alike. Girl. I met their energy, but they do look alike though. They for do real. look alike. Marcus would not I, be able to honestly, tell them apart. I can't tell white people apart. <laughs> He'd be like, you I won't. can't. He'd be like, and I know, I know it. Dr. Like, Viviana. <laughs> no, no, I can, like, now let me tell you what. This is back when I was an engineer and they had somebody in the building. Uh, I was a chief engineer. Somebody in this commercial building we had a stalker. What engineering did you do? I did commercial buildings. Oh. Um, was you an electrical was, engineer? I started off with that and I kind of did it all. It's complicated. You anyway, an engineer? uh, Anyway, somebody in the commercial building had a stalker. This dude had come in. He, I don't know what he done, but they had his picture up. Like, mm. hey, if you see this man, let us know. Let property management know. We need to call the police. I'm like, all right. So I look at the picture, and I'm like, cool. And I walk, <laughs> I swear to God, I walk out in the lobby. I walk back in. I said, he's out there right now. <laughs> Are you serious? I said, he just got on elevator number four. He's out there <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right, I'll tell y'all about him. So hey. we pull up the camera, right? <laughs> he right there. These cameras are not high tech. They pixel, pull up the camera. Everybody looks at me and is like, <laughs> Marcus, that is not him. Uh, I said, that is him. It, it looked dead on him. <laughs> Look dead on this man. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I have the hardest time. I'm at, and I, I've always known it. And I figured it because I was like, this is, how, put a white this, is how, this is how white people see black people. We all look alike. I'm like, I see it. I understand why they say that. He's out there right now. That is all white people look alike to me. Tom, what you doing out here looking like the man that's in trouble? <laughs> He's out there. Right I now. went out there. I was like, that's him. Don't let Marcus be no eyewitness for white. They're going to have somebody on hey. death row. Nah, uh-huh. that's him yeah, for sure. I'm sure. like, man, Henry done age. I didn't know he was ever president. They're going to be like, who, who, who did it? One through six? All of them. <laughs> they were all there. Every single last one of them was there. <laughs> January 6th, I'd have been awful witness. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> been like Brad it's a good Pitt, default to assume they were there. George Clooney, was he there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tony Valentino, he was over there. <laughs> like, Valentino, uh-huh. I'm like, well, someone's over there, probably. <laughs> did you see him? Probably. I the, think I did. The funny thing Joe's is body. the idea of being like, oh, he's here. I gotta go back and tell him. <laughs> nah, with well, me, it wasn't no panic right because I was like, I hit this dude in the mouth. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm like, damn, that's him, right? Hey, <laughs> y'all, he's out here right now. He didn't crack the case. <laughs> 
y'all. He is here. You won't believe me. Y'all take down the slides because I done found him. This was, <laughs> this was in Burbank at the at that building. Take down the fly. I done found take him. Take him down. Quick. He's here. On the elevator. He got restraining on. What, what's, what's the case on him? What's he got? Because he's, he's out elevator here. Elevator four. Marcus, that's elevator one. That is a that is one. <laughs> you know what? I, thought, I always get my fours about one. I always count one. left to right. Y'all be counting right to left. It's a whole yeah. situation. <laughs> Oh Jesus, that hurt me, Marcus. Oh dear oh God. My God, it is what it is. It happens. It's the conviction. Hey y'all, he's out hey, there. Right I said, hey, he's right now. <laughs> he just got on the elevator. He act like he knew where he was going. I thought you were he's looking at He's probably going up to her. Like he's probably going up to her floor right now. There's Girl, a person who's head. minding his business that is being accused of a crime. He don't even know he's in trouble with the law. Marcus is a Karen. It's him. I'm a Tyrone. I know it. <laughs> oh my god all right key. y'all all right enough of this i got a headache enough of this i gotta use the bathroom i've been having to use it for about an hour I got to you go be holding too. it yes i, I should have went with you but then i felt bad because she was doing the ad so i, I said you got to sit here it would not have mattered thank y'all so much for joining us all right, on this we glad you, if you still here <laughs> <laughs> we talk about it's a lot to be for an hour man each other two months. Yeah, it's been a while. Business. It's, y'all probably it's, watching this at work anyway. You already know. Yeah, we haven't seen each other in a long time. But this is literally the first time we saw each other since December eighteenth. Yeah, since I walked in the office. I was like, "Hey, so much has happened. All right, so bye, much. Bye. bye.